Hi there, and welcome to my page, South Bay Yoginis. If you're watching the replay, you can fast forward a couple minutes. We're going to start. I come on a little early to make sure everybody gets on. Making sure you can hear and see me okay. Hi, Betsy. Welcome. Kelly, welcome. Lynn, welcome. Lene, welcome. Thanks so much for being here. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Valinda Coquella. I'm the owner of SouthBayYoginis.com, and I've been practicing yoga since 1994 and teaching since 2000. It's my passion to help you create peace in your body, mind, and spirit using tools and techniques that I've been studying, teaching, and practicing over half my life. So thank you so much for being here. I have been working at Bay Club since 2007. Uh, when my daughter was three years old, I started at the Bay Club because I had childcare. It was so nice to be able to go back to the gym after being at home for three years with my daughter. Uh, so I've, I'm actually at Bay Club Rolling Hills. I've been teaching up there, um, I think since 2012. So I've been at the gym a long time. So all the Bay Club people, thank you so much for being here. So this is easy yoga and meditation. Uh, most of it can be done in a chair. So if you are working with injury or knee issues or anything like that, feel free to sit in a chair. I practice on a sheep's skin because I also teach kundalini yoga and meditation, which balances your magnetic field. So I'm teaching kundalini yoga and meditation on Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Instagram. If you want to pop over there on my live stream, if you're on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Valinda Yoga, and I have shared that with Bay Club over on Instagram. So um, that's where I am on Wednesdays. So this is an easy yoga meditation practice with breath work. And remember to always listen to your body over my voice. I know a little bit about yoga meditation, but you're the expert in your body. So what we're working on is deactivating that sympathetic nervous system, so that fight or flight response, and getting in touch with our parasympathetic nervous system. And we do that using the breath and simple movement. So let's begin. So let's just shake our legs out. We sit a lot in Sukhasana. So, oops, this means easy pose, Sukhasana on the floor. I brought my Ting Ching so we can come into our sacred space. So shake your legs out and get ready. Shake a little bit. And then come sitting up tall. If you're in a chair, feel your feet firmly on the chair and come sitting up tall. And just close the eyes as we go inside. It's called Pratyahara. So there's actually eight limbs of yoga. Asana is one of the limbs, so that's the posture. We have meditation, we have focus, dharana, dhyana, all these um, Sanskrit words that actually help us go within and calm ourselves. So Pratyahara means withdrawal of the senses, and we do that through closing our eyes. So go ahead and close your eyes and gaze up to the space between the eyebrows. So that's your sixth chakra, ajna. It's the physical location of your pituitary gland behind the bridge of the nose, master gland in charge of the hormones. And then press your tongue at the roof of the mouth. You have 84 meridians at the roof of your mouth as we come into our sacred space. Begin to deepen the breath. So that's called pranayama. It's one of the limbs of yoga. And I want you to visualize the bottom of your lungs. Begin to see the bottom of the lungs, the little cilia in the bottom of the lungs. And you're going to inhale. Take your breath down into the bottom of the lungs. Inhaling. Two, three, four. And then holding the breath as you imagine the breath permeating every cell of your being going out into every cell from your heart, your strongest energy center. And let that prana, that life force, shine all around you. And then you're just going to exhale. Two, three, four. And then pull the navel to the spine. So this is called Uddiyana Bandha. Bandhas are the internal locks of the body. So don't do this if you're pregnant. You don't want to do any bandhas. You're pulling the navel to the spine, rectum, sex organs pulls up. This is called mula bandha, root lock. And that's really good if you're doing vinyasa to start to practice these bandhas because it helps you get into difficult postures. And then you're just going to exhale as you relax. Inhale. And just continue this breath. Uh, 
and hold. As you hold, you're imagining again, right from your heart center, your strongest chakra energy center, permeating out to all your cells and all around you into the space around the body. And then you're gonna exhale, imagining the breath going down into the earth. So that's the apana, the downward moving energy. And then again, just hold the breath out as you squeeze the navel to the spine. Let's hold on to our knees and get our elbows very straight here. Pull your chin in, shoulders are dropped. Good, and then relax and inhale. Do that one more time. And hold. And exhale through the nose. Down into the earth, upon a downward moving energy. Hold it out. Squeeze pelvic floor up, squeeze navel in, squeeze chin in. Inhale, reach your arms up, palms come together. I want you to look up and really feel that energy from the pubic bone to the top of the chin. Palms are pressing, central meridian line. And then on the exhale, we're gonna ohm, feel that vibration in the lips and bring the hands to the heart. Here we go. Oh. And gently press the thumbs into the chest. So we're just working with vibration and gently bow, open the base of the skull. Shoulders are dropped, spine is straight. Navel pulls in, root lock pulls up. Good, and let's do two more like that. Inhale, reach it up, reach it up. Palms come together, really reach, lengthen. Feel that stretch from the pubic bone to the top of the chin. Um. Vibrate, hypothalamus, pineal, pituitary. Gently bow, press your palms. Press the thumbs into the center of the chest. Open the base of the skull. Good, and last one, inhale. Reach, big inhale, reach, lengthen. Um, gently bow. setting an intention for your practice. What would you like to focus on today? Maybe it's just showing up. That's perfect. You did that. Maybe it's the breath. Maybe it's focusing the mind, whatever it is. And relax, good. And shake your legs out. Get some energy moving in the legs. We're gonna start to move the body a little bit now to balance the energy system. So switch the crossing of the legs. We're gonna come into Venus lock again. So that's all the fingers clasped together. Your thumbs are touching. Your thumbs represent the ego. You're gonna press into the base of the skull. So there's actually the base back there. In fact, let's just do some tapping before we press there. So tap and get in touch with the base of the skull, medulla oblongata, base of the brain, where we hold trauma, that fear, those primal instincts, right? The oldest part of the brain, let's tap there. I do a whole course on the brain in Kundalini at Rolling Hills and online. Good. And then you're just going to, again, Venus lock, thumbs touch, press into the base of the skull. You're going to inhale as you twist left, as you press, focus at the third eye point, exhale as you twist right. And we're just going to go back and forth. I want you to stay sitting up tall and pull your navel to your spine. You're going to start to go at your pace. Your tongue is pressing, your eyes are gazing up. We're just moving some energy, moving the lymph system. Thymus gland heart, this is good for immunity. And we're just gonna be here about 30 seconds. So stay with me, work at your own pace, your own level. Tongue presses, eyes gaze up. Inhale, I, exhale, am. Inhale, left, exhale, right. center hold pull your arms back feel the stretch in the lymph glands the heart the chest the central meridian line 
Hold, hold, hold. Squeeze root, navel, and chin. Mahavan. Great lock of the yogis. And exhale, relax. Good. And just sit. Let's roll the shoulders back. Feel that energy moving and changing, deactivating that sympathetic nervous system. Good. And then let's roll the shoulders forward. Simple movement and meditation. A little goes a long way. Good. And now you're just going to cross the arms. I want you to grab the shoulder and press. You're going to do the other one now. It doesn't matter which arm is in front, and you're going to press. And I want you just to hold yourself, right? Hold yourself. You're going to inhale center, and you're going to exhale as you tip to the left. Inhale center, exhale as you tip to the right. And we're just going to go back and forth, opening up that psoas. Central meridian line is working still. You're pressing into the shoulders. You're pressing into the heart. And you're just opening up the rib meridians. And you're going at your pace and your level. Tongue is pressing. Eyes are gazing up. Inhale, eye. Exhale, am. Back and forth movement is working on the brain. Good. And that's it. Press. Inhale and exhale like a clock ticking. Just this. Deep into your lungs. Good. And then inhale, center, reach it up. I want you to tense all your fingers. Tense your fingers. Thumb is ego. Index finger is expansion. I'm trying to get in the camera here. Middle finger is patience and devotion. Ring finger represents your health and your vitality. Pinky finger is communication. Sip in more and call on what you need in your mind. Victory, victory, victory. Patience, acceptance, surrender, call on it. Exhale, relax. Good. And shake your legs out. We're going to take the legs out now. I'm going to scoot back a little bit on my sheepskin. And flex your feet. If you need to bend the knees, perfectly fine. Bend the knees. You're going to inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale as you fold. Your pace, your level. Maybe your hands are at your shins. Maybe you can press into the mound of the big toe. So it's actually a point there that we're working with. You're going to inhale as you pull the whole torso up and then exhale as you bring your whole torso down, of course, at your pace and at your level. Your tongue is pressing, your eyes are gazing up, and that's it. Inhale, I, exhale, am. So it's more important that you keep the whole torso moving. So like, you don't wanna just do the head and neck, you actually wanna move the whole torso. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Flexing the feet, so we're working those ankle meridians, the, all the points in the toes and the feet. Tongue is pressing. You have 84 meridians at the roof of the mouth. Eyes are gazing up. You're going to be here about 15 more seconds. Stay with me. Work at your own pace. Deep in the breath. And if you're sitting in a chair, you're just folding forward. Hear how deep my breath is. I'm going deep into the bottom of my lungs. We're going to go about five more seconds. Pick up the pace. And inhale up. Hold your breath. Slide the shoulders down the back. Flex your feet. Exhale. Fold forward. And again, you can release the toes now. Hands come to the chins. Keep your back flat. Gently shake your head now. And gently nod your head yes. Take your face stretches here. Nose, eyes, mouth, and jaw release. So we use our face a lot in yoga. Move it around. And then you're going to squinch your face really tight. I want you to find all the muscles of the face. Squinch it really tight. And you're just going to stick your tongue out and make a sound. Lion's breath. <sighs> and then shake it out. Shake out all the worry, all the fear, all the mind stuff, right? Let's just be in this moment, in our breath, in our body, just as we are. Shake it out. Good. And then inhale here. Reach it up. Kiss the shoulder blades together as you open your heart. Good. And then we're going to bring the feet into Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. We're going to go right back into spinal flex now. 
Inhale as you arc, exhale as you round. And maybe your feet are gonna be out. If you're in a chair, you're just spreading your legs as far as is comfortable for you. You're arcing and you're rounding. If you keep, need to keep the head and neck neutral, keep the head and neck neutral, that's perfectly fine. If you wanna take the head and neck up, that's perfectly fine. So we're activating the energy in the spine, brain and the spinal cord, the brain, the spinal cord, central nervous system right here. Good, tongue presses, eyes gaze up, inhale I, exhale L, last 30 seconds here. Your pace, your level. Inhale, I. Exhale, M. So now we're getting deep into the groin area, into the spine. And I want you to start focusing on a different part of your spine now. So maybe it's more the neck or between the shoulders. Or maybe it's the navel, the mid-spine, right? Or lower back. Notice which feels best for you. Sit up tall, shoulders slide down the back. Let's reach our arms up, tense all your fingers, call on what you need. Feel this, feel all your blessings. Right here, what blessings do you have? Every cell smiles, sip in more. And exhale, relax. And we're just gonna fold forward. Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. And again, shake the head now. Nod the head yes. And the mantra for this pose, you can bring your hands out, you can peel your feet back, you can pull your heels in deeper, your choice, yogi's choice. Secure in myself, I accept whatever is. Breathe into the adrenals and kidneys in the back of the body. Secure in myself. I accept whatever is. A little bit deeper. Secure in myself. I accept. Again, shake the head no. Keep the neck relaxed, nod the head yes. Go ahead, take your face stretches again. Where do you hold tension? Notice, is it in your jaw? Do you furrow your brow or grind your teeth at night? Just notice. Good, and slowly walking the fingertips up. You're gonna bring your fingertips behind you and kiss your shoulder blades together. So you're really kissing the shoulder blades together. It's almost like you could hold a pencil between the shoulder blades. So really feel that. And drop your chin to your chest. We're going to get into the neck a little bit here. And you're just going to roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to chest. And left ear, left shoulder. Back and forth. arms and give yourself a big hug so your left arm is on top so again walking the fingertips towards your shoulder blades really feel that breathe into your fingertips drop your chin giving yourself a big hug deep in the breath and then bringing that left arm right in the crook of the right arm left arm goes away from you right arm goes towards you press your palm Sit up tall, eagle arms. Breathe into the back door of the heart. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, release. Slide the shoulders down the back. Fingertips come to the earth. Drop your chin. And other side, left ear, left shoulder. Chin to chest. And right ear, right shoulder. Back and forth. Take your face stretches whenever you need to. Good, and then reach the arms out, right arm on top, give yourself a big hug, fingertips walk towards the back of the shoulder, so you should feel a little more open now. 
Gently drop the chin, breathe into your fingertips for three. For two. And for one more breath. And then that right arm is right in the crook of the left elbow. Right arm goes away from you, left arm comes towards you. Press the palms, sit up tall. You can press into the third eye point here. Breathe deeply. Left and right and all around. Life's harmonies are mine. Breathe deeply into what is, into this posture, into your body. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, release. Slide the shoulders down the back. Drop your chin. Gently roll the neck again. Maybe go all the way around this time. Yogi's choice. Maybe you're just going back and forth. Good. And then we're just going to come right on to hands and knees. So for cat-cow, let's go ahead and curl our toes under. Your shoulders are right over your wrists. You're gonna inhale as you arc your spine and exhale as you round your spine. If it hurts your feet, you can bring the tops of the feet down, but we do wanna to try to stretch the little necks of the toes and the arches of the feet. Inhale and exhale. Tongue presses, eyes gaze up. Your pace, your level. Good, and then find your tabletop, find your flat back. So hips are right over the knee, shoulders are right over the wrists, and then you're gonna shift all the weight over to the right knee and lift your left leg. So keep the hip facing the floor. We don't wanna open the hip. You wanna keep the hip facing the floor and then go ahead and take that right arm up so you have that opposite left leg, right arm. And just notice which side you're on <laughs> and breathe deeply here. I am strong, I am balanced as the winds of life blow. For three. For two. I am strong, I am balanced as the winds of life blow. And feel free to stay here or you can reach back and grab the foot. Bring the heel to the buttocks, really stretch that quad. You can press into the foot, look up at the sun, the sky, and release. Go ahead and rest in child's pose. Focusing the forehead onto the floor. I relax from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace. I relax from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace. And gently turn the head from left to right, massage the frontal lobe of the brain and making your way back up onto hands and knees, curl the toes under, cat-cow again, focusing on a different part of your back, please. If you're sitting, you're just doing the spinal flexes again in the chair, perfectly fine, and then you just fold forward. Tongue presses, eyes gaze up. Maybe focus on the upper back this time, the back door of the heart, or maybe the lower back. Deepen the breath. And then find tabletop again. Find the flat back. Really use your core here. So pull navel point in. Pull that root lock up. And you're going to shift the weight over to the left knee. Right leg reaches. Or other side. <laughs> Pinky toe faces the earth. Use that quad. Reach up that arm. You're here for three. I am strong. I am balanced. As the winds of life blow for two. Finding balance in the body helps 
find the balance in the mind for one more breath. Inhale, reach it back if you like, totally optional. Heel to buttock, stretching the quad, press into the shoulder, press into open the throat. And exhale, let's come into extended child's pose. So your knees are gonna come wide, the arms are walking out, and press your forehead into the earth. Really opening up the arms here. Uh, relax from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace. I relax from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace. And slowly coming up, we're gonna curl the toes under and go right into downward facing dog. If you would like to bring your forearms to the ground, you can. You're gonna lift your bottom to the sky or come into a full down dog, opening the back of the body here. If you're on your chair, you just turn around and place your hands on your chair. You're here for three. Calmness radiates from every fiber of my being for two. And for one more breath, calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. And then come high on your toes, stretch your feet, stretch your calves, do a little rounding here. And coming down, you can sit back on the ankle, cross the ankles and sit back and make your way into final Shavasana. Resting on your back, let your palms face up. And I'm gonna play the crystal bowl as you relax here. So you stay here. Rotate the wrists and the ankles. And settle in. And just repeat after me in your mind. Bones. Muscles movements. I surrender now. Anxiety. Elation. Depression. Churning thoughts. All these I give into the hands of peace. and toes and wrists and ankles. Move and stretch any way your body needs to, twisting and moving. Pressing up, coming onto your right side, your masculine side, your logical side, press yourself up. Bring your hands together and gently bow. Thank yourself for coming to yoga and meditation today. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice.
still your mind, open your heart, speak your truth, and live your dreams.